And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Noxus Burn. So I feel like we haven't been playing as much Noxus as, as uh, like compared to the other regions recently. And so I wanted to play um, Noxus deck. I really like all the Noxus one drops. I basically took the burn aggro that we played a while ago. Um, that deck did have Teemo. And I felt that, that maybe Draven would be a little more powerful for it. So I switched, I switched around just a couple of cards, um, added in some crowd favorites also. So it went a little bit bigger, um, but then took out like some two and three drop cards that were in there anyway. Um, and yeah, going to try this Noxus burn deck. So very, very aggressive, trying to just get as much damage in as fast as possible um, with these noxious creatures and then finish off our opponent with burn spells, whether that's Mystic Shots or get excited, um, or it could be Jinx transforming and getting us some super mega death rockets. Or it could be like Grenadier has the last breath deal two to the enemy nexus, Boom Crew Rookie attack do two to the enemy nexus, and Saboteur attack deal one. So, you know, kind of add, add all that stuff up. Um, so yeah, that's what our, our deck's about. You know, crowd favorites are our big creature that we can play. We're gonna try to go wide with like House Spider and Arena Battlecaster, go wide, do some damage. Crowd favorite, make a big creature that's hard to deal with. I don't think this is not like this isn't necessarily like one of the, the best decks in the format, but it's a fun one to play and you win fast or lose fast. Let's see how we do. So noxious burn. There we are. We're gonna go play ranked. Where are we at? 876. Let's go rank up. Let's go get some quick rank here. Getting some fast matches. Rank up quickly. <laughs> so there should be another patch. What are we expecting? Six days? There should be... It should be... In six days, it should be this month's patch with card updates all right let's get rid of that Lux Ezreal let's get rid of these need some more creatures against the aggro deck there we go let's get a one drop nope we have the nine one drops take a look at this it's a good card against me track them down That's a good card. Let's go with the Boom Crew Rookie to start with. So even if they block, we get two damage in. All right, time to go wide. Won't get past me. We'll have double battle caster. See, mom, still not get your own uniform. Who's ready to wreck it? I roar. Search then. Halt. So we're not going to kill the chump wump, but we could finish the chump wump off with the mystic shots. Get eight damage in. Got a very good anti aggro hand they have with these. Like they, they really have. I have cards they have in their hand. And 
they're down to nine. So that's the thing. It's like I, I could kill this, but I also could just save it to try to go upstairs. You know, right now, if we can attack with more boom crews, you know, that's two damage to them. This thing dying, two damage to them. And so on. Um... I go straight to attacks. You know, this block's here. They take six. All right, we're not going to go straight to attacks. I go waste if I'm in mushrooms. <laughs> Definitely not going straight to attacks after drawing that crowd favorite. They're in a rough spot. Me. Blood, glory. Just gonna put it here. The attack puts him down to five. Um. So in the four four blocks here, like yeah, like their best block is there, and then four four here. No, that that kills them. They can't really survive, can they? No. All right. Even with that really good anti-aggro start that they had. We ended up getting there. Whoa, 12 and 0. Boom Crew Rookie was awesome. Real big part of that win, the Boom Crew Rookies. They were real good. All right, Vladimir Hecarim. That's interesting. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by Vladimir Hecarim. Hey, Bing. My peak rank was 50. Two days ago. <laughs> and then by the end of the day, we're at like 800. Went on a, went on, went on a cold streak. You could say. Yeah, down here. So at the top, like whenever, so just like a couple of days ago, when I was at like more of the top of the rankings, we were seeing a lot of Demacia decks, a lot of Fiora Demacia style decks. And then whenever I lost the rankings, when I'm down here at this rank, I saw a lot of like yesterday, basically all we played against were like Heimerdinger and Karma decks, you know, like the slower control decks. Kind of like what we just played there with the, that Lux Ezreal deck. Um, so a lot more control down at the bottom of the rankings. A three mana. I have the best job. Yeah, we still, I mean, there still is a good amount of variety. But yeah. Expansion is going to be awesome. I have no idea when there will be an expansion, to be honest. Uh, I would assume whenever the next set's released. I, I just don't know. But yeah, that's... My beautiful expa face. Expansions are always a real exciting time. Ooh. Will it be a 5-5? Sure. Waste my time. Oh! What's up? Down to seven. You better bleed. Just down to five. <laughs> yep, 
Yes, this puts him down to five. We have five damage in here. I'm basically just deci deciding, do I want to discard the crowd favorite to the spinning axe to put him down to four? I don't feel like I need to do that. All right, tapped out. We're 2-0. Oh. Good start to ranked today. Good start today. we got could get rid of the crowd favorite also I'm gonna want the crowd favorite on turn four but I also just want the cheap creatures I don't want to like mulligan and then we get yeah like a draven and a jinx and then I'd be sitting there with the crowd favorite no one drop yeah especially with us attacking I really wanted a one drop Dang, this was not a good mulligan. Can see the Demastian order here. It's Draven time. It is Draven time, though. Obviously, Brittle Steel. Brittle Steel would have been the, the real card I wouldn't want to see. I will unite the frail yard. Bad Ash. No. Bad. Um As the arrow flies Wish I had one more mana and I could whirling death also tough rules and meat broke her people the finest battle caster in nonsense steps up ready the torches lead the target It's kind of difficult to to have the whirling to get the whirling death off with um, 
with their kind of deck with like a bunch of brittle steels and stuff like that. Their first speed frostbite. Plus, emptying, getting the hand empty because of Jinx is not a bad thing anyway. Alright, well, we've cleaned off a lot of those challengers and ashes. <laughs> Come on. Well, that was that was very good. It was right on my tail. Coming in hot. Our strength is yours. First big mission. Well, it's not looking good. Stand together. Try me. Not looking good at all. It's definitely relying on that jinx. Could top deck another jinx, that would be nice. Ooh. I wasn't really expecting that attack to work, to be honest. They must have a bunch of expensive creatures in hand. Since that attack did work. We fight for one friend. As you can tell. Where's my axe? Or like that block worked, I guess. It wasn't an attack. I will unite the frail yard. We march as one, an unstoppable force. We're getting closer and closer. You gotta believe me. Doesn't scare me. How? Why do they? My aim is true. So we need to draw. We need to draw. Get excited. Either this draw or the next draw. Nope. Never mind. We had chance. Backfired. Yet. With that other cart, you know, with the boom for rookie attacking for two again. Ugh. And that's lethal. Two and one. Close, but not quite. So turn one, one drop, turn two, double one drop. I think I start with rear guard. It gets in three damage right now. Reporting in. Where it may not get in damage later, but the saboteur definitely gets in damage later. What does he want from me? 
All right, well, that thing would have traded with these other one drops, so it's good it doesn't trade with these. Yes, at least not immediately. I guess maybe I should have just gone the, the precious pet. It's fearsome. I do feel like they have Vile Feast. Um, options are like going the double spider to try to set up a big crowd favorite. Or. Or play Draven, which is a better attacker. I, hope this works. Actually, yeah, I took out the Brothers Bond for the for the transfusion. Um, I actually kind of like the transfusion, keeping stuff alive. Our Brothers Bond is basically like a, you know, can be a two mana deal for. Kind of. Um. Yeah, like I, I had been playing Brothers Bond, but it was just, I don't know, it just. It's kind of. Didn't do what I wanted it to do too often. Yeah, I understand that a lot of things get killed by one, but, you know, like they use like a removal on one, you save it for another. I actually like the transfusion more. I don't know. I don't know exactly how best to put it into words, but... But yeah, basically, I'd, I'd played Brothers Bond and just wasn't, wasn't very happy with the card and replaced it for transfusion. Transfusion is more likely to be worth a spell, worth like worth an entire card. At least that's what I found. Gotta work with this joker. Sure do. Not seeing strength. Don't find me. <laughs> I don't think we will, but I could discard my hand and you know have the double spinning axe this turn.
like saving like like transfusion being able to save jinx save draven save crowd favorite like that kind of stuff is is really really valuable because these cards are so good especially jinx just more valuable than making some little spiders give them a little bit bigger power it's like the the games that like like brothers bond is real good is like whenever you're you're like this kind of board and you get to put it on two things it does four damage and you close them out Th those games are like where you're winning anyway it's the games that like they're killing all your stuff and your brother's bond is just a dead card because they're killing all your stuff where like a transfusion can help save these things that it's that it helps out a lot more Rules are made to be broken, like buildings or people. You should try blinking sometime. End weapon. So if they have Mark of the Isles, One of us dies. they still can't save that. And I want to kill, I want to kill one spot. Saboteur in play. Time for the money. <laughs> Level up Jinx. Three and one. So we're facing the twelfth ranked clown. I'm definitely keeping everything except for maybe Transfusion. Yeah, I'm gonna replace Transfusion. Yeah. Give me Transfusion back. I have my orders. In position. Boom. Dang. Come closer. I don't bite. This Legion Grenadier being able to block is awesome. That doesn't scare me. The least still can trade with both of these.
All right, so very easy block on the mist raid. Um, I think that's it. I have the ideal curve though. Elise into Skitter into Wraith, Wraith Caller. We'll see how more ideal their curve gets. Let's see, we're going Draven into Battlecaster. Or Precious Pet into Jinx. Draven into Battlecaster. Nice, QQ, 150,000 channel points. That is so many. <laughs> Yeah, you're... I get it. Your life's amazing. Just get all these skitters. I actually expect this card to be... I expect this to be... Um, I expect skitter to be nerfed. Because we were just we we're just reading their... Um, state of the beta. What and they talk about how for? good Shadow Isles is. And how skitter... Makes it too good against aggro. Hold ready to reckon. So I am expecting Skitter to be nerfed here in six days. I want to try to level up this Draven. Okay. It's not bad. should try blinking sometime. Your name on it. Hmm. Oh, Jinx could have blocked also. I should have blocked with Jinx, right? Jinx was leveling up. I forgot about Jinx leveling up. Should have blocked here. Because I'm going all in on this. Like, if they have a trick, I'm in a lot of trouble anyway. Because obviously, like, they're very far ahead. I should have blocked with Jinx, too, over here. So, already, our, our chance of winning this game is pretty low anyway. So, this should have the Draven strike with... Yeah, should 
want that. take this trade darn I want to see I didn't want to do this first and then they um and they have something now they had heck around man great hand GG's GG's good hand those skitters just too good. Skitter is too good. Alright, so this is the... Oh, well, this is... Okay, so this is different. So it's Ezreal with Ionia. It's different. So I'm keeping a hand without a one-drop, because all the rest of this is pretty good. But... I could have sent I could have seen just sending one of these two draws back just trying to get a one drop. But I really I like all these cards. I think the one that I would have sent back would have been like the Grenadier probably. Control one, control two, control three. Bad attack with the one one. I attack that too quickly. Bad attack with the one one with these crowd favorites and battlecaster and everything. Should have just sent in the other two. They cannot hide. Changes but never breaks. Who's ready to reckon? So they're focusing on having their stuff strike. So now these crowd favorites are only four fours. Wish I would have thrown away that 1 1. Oh, come on. Run while you can. Like the fuse. Currents, pull them down. This did not go too well for me. I stand for Noxus. So we gotta get twelve damage across. We can do that. Night falls. Fate brings us together. We can do that. A 
gift from the river folk. The waters are still. Sometimes you just know that they just have the best possible card against you. You. you can just set it up. Think what's what's the best possible card for them to have? They got it. Not escape. It's too late for you. Oh, I was sorry to hear about that after Wizard. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that. But. Time to go! So we traded three cards Crowd Favorite and two Whirling Deaths for a Will of Ionia. A get excited, a river shaper, and a mystic shot. It's a good good trade for us. However, whenever they've had all these shadow assassins draw cards and the river shaper draw a card, and they've already you know they draw they've drawn a lot of cards, they have so many more cards than us. It's not really a trade we can afford. We need to be able to get more damage in than that. Looks like we're going to be 3-3. Three and three. Should have done some more mulliganing. I think that's what determined with this. Should have mulliganed. I should have kept the Boom Crew Rookie and like I had, I had the three two drops in hand. I should have mulliganed two of the two drops. Should have mulliganed the Spiders and uh, no the Grenadier. Way. They cannot hide. You cannot escape. Better run. Come on, our best possible card. I will play my part. You have to discard that. We can't just discard some other random card and then draw Jinx next turn. Best card. But, I mean, I have to kill the Ezreal because otherwise we're just dead. Alright, well, we're still just dead. All right, see you after Wizard, I'll let you know. game could have been a lot different if I didn't 
Possibly. It could possibly have been a lot different if I didn't attack that 1-1 one, one spider and then my crowd favorites would have been bigger and that could have all been a little different. That was a really poor decision by me. But just because you mulligan doesn't mean that you're going to get the cards that you want. First big mission. Of course I'm ready. I just said hi. That's all I did. I don't think that was bad manners. Smell that? A bite to cook it. The people are my strength. Wait, we're four and three now, right? Didn't yeah, we just lost that last one and I, I guess I didn't update it, so yeah, we're four and three now. We were three and three. Does that sound right, everybody? Because right, because we were three and two whenever we we're facing the Ezreal opponent, right? Now saying that we we're about to go to three and three. Didn't mark it up, I guess. Let's actually send back Battlecasters. Because while while we're going wide, they're also going wide. And if they're also going wide. Um reporting in. Okay, ready. If they're also going wide, then it, it's not as impactful of a card. Especially if we don't have the other creatures along with it. If we just have like one spider and then some battle casters. It can get outclassed very easily. Well, they definitely should have attacked with both of those as a free attack. Time for the main event. No skitter. They could have a lease and flip a lease. That would be a nightmare. That seems like a card that you just kill right away.
All right, let's get a Jinx. Thank you. How do we want to do this? Less thinking, more pew pewing. You're starting to bore me. I was one mana short. My whole plan was whirling death here now. Everyone goes boom. Right, should have just whirling death, I guess, and then Yeah, that was Whirling Death was like my main plan was to, to throw the jinx out there was to have whirling death. I'm sure I didn't play that that turn correctly. I'm sure I didn't, but at least we have Jinx still alive, which is the important thing. I help build this empire. And another ally survives damage granted plus one plus zero. So I cast Super Mega Death Rocket. This thing survives damage. It turns into a 5-4 or 5-3. I found my family, my blood kin. I think they should switch the 4-4 four four and the 4-2. They could add the 4-2 survive damage and go and survive damage and then uh, get another Crimson card in hand. I don't know, maybe they don't need another Crimson card though. Still alive. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's reckon. Let's reckon. Five and three. See, good, good, fast matches. Bye -bye. Strong deck. 
I probably could have won for that. I would have just get excited, target them. Instead of the hoops I jumped through with my non whirling death play. But we're five and three. Jinx help carrying it. All right, let's go. I could see this being a tough matchup. If they go Yasuo crazy, kill all my stuff. I have my orders. Don't really have any reason why I'm playing the saboteur instead of the rear guard. The rear guard. I don't know. They both would have traded there. The dark beckons. Won't get past me. I will play my part. The sun's out. The crowd's ready. Let's wreck it. My question is, do I play Jinx or do I just go straight to attacks? If I go straight to attacks, they block the Battlecaster, take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I play Jinx first. I don't really know what they're going to have, but I think I'll just go straight to attacks. I would like to do nine damage. I'm not turning to seven damage. <laughs> That's all right. <clears throat> we got a couple get excited. The Boom Crew rookie. Of course I'm ready. So just gonna play the rookie. They cannot hide. Cast one, get excited, where we got the other one in hand. Boo. Screaming helps, not at all. Kind of like putting the cheap, the the cheap damage first. So if they want to do the whole life steal thing, they got to block like over here. You cannot escape. If they put it over here to do the whole life steal stuff, then you know, like then we'll just let that happen, and then we get all this other extra damage. I think it's actually best to put the the crappiest attackers first. So they just block these two, and then, then they, like, lifesteal barrier this arachnoid sentry. They're taking six here, and then the get excited would be lethal. Yeah. I'll give you to the counter. GG's. That was a good game. We're six and three. All right, moving slowly, moving back up.
We started today at like number 900. Now we're up to 600. We're getting there. Am I still live? My my uh, Twitch page looks weird. Okay, there we go. Fixed it. But I had to exit exit out and reopen. All right, Shen Fiora. It's maybe a pretty good hand. I'll just keep it. I could see mulliganing the other the other one drop, I guess. And look for something like a jinx. The feather trackers real good. Down to 14, I'm I'm down a card because of the get excited. They would fall by my blade. You're covered. I never hold back. Try me. All right, beating the second Fiora is going to be really tough. Rules are made to be broken. Like buildings. Her people. This is risky. Darn. That didn't work. I will. I'll go. That really didn't work. So then they would play like just one thing and then I would attack with the Jinx and then they would block and barrier and then I would get excited and have the first strike but the quick attack. Now we don't have the quick attack and we don't have the 5-4 the either or the quick attack. I, I should have just... Okay, they had that too. I should have... I should have just gone for it and attacked with the Jinx. This Fior is definitely killing me. Yeah, this game's over. I played scared. Should not have. 
Play scared. Can't play scared like that. All right, so we still we went six and four. You know, good sixty percent win rate. Um, even with me, a couple of those games, you know, I definitely see the um, mistakes that I made in them. I have to say that a card that I didn't love was like the Whirling Death. It was pretty expensive. Um, kind of hard to. Kind of hard to use. Um, I have kind of wondered if, like, we could put, like, Legion Drummer and Trifarian Glory Seeker in this kind of deck. Like, how that would work together. Um, you know, that's that's something that I've, I've thought about, is, like, maybe putting those in. Like, that would be over, like, like over Whirling Death and... Um, and then, you know, like Legion Grenadier, I guess, or something. The Battlecasters actually didn't look that great this this time. But I'm not sure if, like, Legion Drummer or Glory Seeker would have been better. Just kind of something to, something to note. Something to note. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's Noxious, Noxious Burn. I think this is a pretty solid deck. Uh, you know, as we saw, we got six and four there. Um, yeah, I got six and four there over in Masters, and and that's that's also with making some mistakes. That you know, maybe that could have been a seven and three or an eight and two if I would have played uh, a little different at times. Uh, but pretty good against the slow decks. We, even though we didn't face a whole lot of like slow control decks like we did yesterday, this this would have been a lot better to to face against those. All right, but that's all I got here for Noxious Burn. So um, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this aggressive deck. I'd appreciate that. But thanks so much for watching some Noxious Burn, and I'll see you for the next video.